New this morning, we have royalty in the studio with us. That is, we're joined by the Snowflake Royalty of the 101st Annual Snowflake Ski Jumping Tournament in Westby. That's happening this weekend. Good morning to you both. Thanks Good for being morning. here with us. Thanks for having us. So just tell us a little bit, people may not be familiar, what is the Snowflake Ski Jumping Tournament? Well, it's a, it's a big uh, celebration for the town of Westby. And what it does is it allows uh, international competitors to come into, into town um, and compete on an Olympic-sized hill. And we wrap uh, a good celebration around with that. We have our junior ski jumping tournament. So we have little kids all the way from five years old all the way to 15 jumping on the smaller hills. And then we'll kick over onto the larger hill. And uh, that's where the, the party really gets started. Yeah, I bet. We kind of see the jump here. That looks pretty steep. Is that the big one? Yeah, that's the big one. Okay. That's, the, that's one of six in the entire North America. Oh. In all of North America. So we got a real treat here in, here in the Cooley region to be able to celebrate and, and really have a good time out in Westby. Yeah, that's awesome. A little bit behind it as far as history. See, I'm cheating. I see it on the screen. 101st annual? 101st. Wow. 100, 101 years of fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> that is a long time to do anything. That, that's amazing. So tell us a little bit about uh, both of your roles with this contest. So as the royalty, I am the ambassador for ski jumping in Westby. I go to various events around our community and I promote the ski jump, encourage people to come and enjoy a little piece of Westby heritage. Great. And what about you? Well, I have a number of roles within the club. I'm a junior club coach, so I help coach during the week and, and work with the kids. Um, and then I'm also the announcer for, for the tournament. So getting out and being able to have everybody um, make sure that they understand what they're seeing and really enjoy the, enjoy the day. Okay, how long have you been uh, announcing it? I think it's been about 13, 14 years okay, now. Wow. I think it's been, it's been quite a while. It seems to go pretty quick. Yeah. So. So how can we learn more, get tickets? So our website, westbysnowflakeskiclub.com, has all the information you'll need for the weekend. Uh, buttons are $15 in advance if you buy them at any of the local businesses here. Okay. Um, but at the gate, they're $20. You can also buy them online on the website. And just to get more information about the weekend, uh, the Facebook page also has updates as needed. Okay, great. We've got a little bit of information uh, on the screen. I did see a flyer that said there's going to be a DJ on Saturday, right? There is. We'll actually have a band on Friday night uh, after the tournament is over, uh, over at the Rod and Gun building, which is nearby there. And then you're right, we'll have a DJ. And I, th I believe actually we might be having a band on Saturday. So I uh, just will update that. But either way, it's if you come down, it'll be a good. It'll be a good time. Yeah, sounds very fun. Why would you encourage the community to attend this event? Boy. That's a, that's a great opportunity. It's just a great opportunity to see a, a very unique event. Mm -hmm. um, you're having, we're having people coming in, coming in from Europe uh, to be able to jump here and really see uh, what the sport of ski jumping is all about. You get, you get an up-close view uh, of, what's go of, of the entire hill. So it's, it's uh, one of the few venues around that you can actually hike all over the hill and, and see it from all different aspects. Yeah, that's great. Any tips for new skiers? Be cautious. <laughs> Maybe don't go down the big jump yeah. if you're a new skier. That, that, that's not for the first timers. Right. We'll, we'll, we'll leave that one to, to the, more to the experts. But um, just because, as your weather uh, was noting uh, that you did earlier, um, there's with the warm temperatures, it's really been a, a struggle for us. Um, and, and we got a great group of, of volunteers that are making sure that they're getting everything done. So we're planning on having a tournament. I know it gets a little bit sketchy mm -hmm. out there when there's when there's uh, when we're losing all the snow. But we we made a bunch. But uh, we should be able to uh, we should be able to have a great event and have people come down. So wear your waterproof footwear. Um, we're looking at parking and, and the way that that could be because normally in the summer this is uh, it's a golf course and we just want to make sure that's able to be used in the summer but usually when it's frozen not a problem so we're making sure that we can we can uh, accommodate the, the people that are going to be down there and make it convenient for them. Great well glad you guys are still able to have it with the, the mild winter we've been having and thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having this us. Weekend.